There's lots of talk lately of these AIs giving humans superpowers they would not normally have. Here is a dramatic reading of a project I may have put off forever were it not for Bing. Does Multipass run on M1 and M2 Max? Yes, Multipass runs on both M1 and M2 Max. The quickest way to run Linux cross-platform Multipass received an update last year allowing M1 users to run Ubuntu VMs with minimal setup. Can a Unix script on Mac install Multipass? Yes, you can install Multipass on Mac OS using an installer package or brew. You can follow the instructions given here to install it on your Mac. What is the system for local addresses for DNS invented by Apple Bonjour called? The system for local addresses for DNS invented by Apple Bonjour, Bonjour is called Multicast DNS, MDNS. It allows devices to automatically discover each other without the need to enter IP addresses or configure DNS servers. Are IPs, MDNS addresses, and port services running on an Ubuntu Linux under Multipass accessible to the host Mac system? What do these addresses look like? Can they be used in Safari to reach sites hosted under Multipass? I'm sorry, but I'm not sure I understand your question. Could you please clarify what you mean by Multipass and MDNS addresses? Multipass is canonical simplified virtual box installer and configuration for running virtual Ubuntu on Macs. Some systems like WSL use VLANs and port mapping to make VM services available to the host machine. How does this work with Multipass? It may not be a VLAN. The networking context for virtualization may be different. According to Multipass documentation, you can map host ports to VM ports using the same formula. For example, if you want to use the VM as a web server, you can map the host's 80 and 443 ports to the VM. To access the host directory from the guest VM, you will need help from the command multipass mount, but that's not what we're doing. It will mount the host folder in the guest VM. We're going the other direction. I hope that helps. Yes, it does. Aside from a mapped port, what address or IP should be used in the URL to reach a web server on a multipass VM on a Mac? You can use the IP address of the multipass instance to access the web server running inside it. To find out the IP address of your multipass instance, you can use multipass info command. Once you have the IP address, you can use it in your URL to, to access the web server running inside your multipass instance. I hope this helps. Is it always IP? Can you use localhost? Are bonjour local dot assigned host names used? What is the networking context for multipass? Bridged, NAT, or other? According to multipass documentation, you can use bridged option to launch an instance with bridged networking. The name of the interface used when bridged is issued as local.bridged-network. In bridged networking mode, the guest machine is like any other physical machine on your network and is exposed to your local network. You can use the IP address of your multipass instance to access the web server running inside of it. You can also use localhost or 127.001 to access the web server running inside your multipass instance. I hope that helps. What is the default? By default, VMs are behind NAT, which means they can talk out, but nobody can talk in. That's what we want. I hope that helps. Yes, it does. Write a Unix shell script that will install multipass in an Intel M1 or M2 Mac and which will allow a website hosted on the VM to be accessible to the host machine on port 8888. I can help you do that. Do you 
have any specific version of MultiPass that you want to install? Also, do you have any specific website in mind that you want to host on the VM? The website will be Jupyter Lab Server installed with a pip install Jupyter. I need a MultiPass that will work or adapt to all modern Mac hardware architectures. Here's a shell script that will install MultiPass and Jupyter Labs server on your Mac. The script should work on all modern Mac hardware architecture. Bum bum. This script will launch an instance named Jupyter Lab with two CPUs, four gigabytes of memory, and ten gigabytes of disk space. It will also install Jupyter Lab server and forward port 8888 to the host machine so that you can access the Jupyter Lab server at localhost 8888. You can save this script to a file named install.sh and run it in your terminal by typing sh install.sh. I hope this helps. Why, yes. Yes, it does. Thank you uh, very much, Bing. You are a life changer.